Oh my gosh, what if my babies try to suck my other babies' blood? <laughs> What's up everyone? I'm Kelsey and I thought it would be funny if I tried the 100 infant challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and you're supposed to have 100 infants all with different partners in one lifetime. There's some rules to this challenge. It's basically a loosey-goosey version of the 100 baby challenge. Just some adjustments. Mostly the adjustments being I cheat the household to make it a little bit bigger so it goes faster. We have normally 14 children in the house and I don't think that's ever going to change so I might just have to like embrace what's going on or slow down, which I will not because we're almost a third of the way through the challenge. A lot of you don't like the house. I hear you. Probably by the next episode or the episode after that, I am doing a full new home build for the challenge on my Twitch channel. You might be able to catch the tail end of it. It's on twitch.tv slash Kelsey Dangerous. Or if you want to watch the past episodes of it, it'll be on my second YouTube channel, youtube.com slash more Kelsey and PGK. Go check those out. Make sure to follow on both accounts. It would mean the world to me. And also if you aren't already, make sure to follow on this channel. Hit that subscribe button. My dream is to hit 900 thousand subscribers. We are 9,000 subscribers away from halfway to the goal. It's just about halfway through the year right now. So I'm feeling pretty excited that we might make it by the end of this year or at least sometime next year, which is absolutely astronomically exciting to me. So make sure to follow and help me make my dreams come true. And like, welcome to the family, you know, bring it in, bring it in. Okay, so we've got Chelsea and Peach Schmay hanging out with the babies. We got Jess, who's that girl? It's Jess. Oh, I forgot that we have two infants that need to be aged up. So we need to still work on that gross motor skill. Chelsea's already getting that started. And then of course we have Roy, Rebecca, Sasha, and Sienna, all of which are high school B students, raring to go. Oh wait, what? <gasps> Brody, learn to roll over. Oh my gosh, does that mean what I think it means? Yes! It means Brody can be aged up. Welcome to toddlerhood, Brody. We're so excited for you. Look at these two. Louie and Huey celebrating little baby Brody's birthday. And then last but not least, we got Luna that would be next then to be aging up here. So very exciting stuff. Oh my gosh, and Jess just learned how to laugh. Oh, and so did Zane. They're making each other laugh. So cute. All right, here we go. Happy birthday. Oh, that little wispy blonde hair. Oh, Brody just spat all over this cake. That's why no one eats it. It's because so many babies have spat on this cake. Brody aged up. He was intense and now he's fussy. I didn't even have a chance there to hope for something better. Brody, Brody, Brody. So Luna is next up in the, I need to get one more gross skill to be aged up train. So let's do some tummy time together with Luna. So Brody, I feel like Link is very adventurous. He also moves around a lot. He's very physical. So let's start with like a movement skill for you. Want you to take after your father a little bit, mostly because I'm just really into to Link from Legend of Zelda lately. It's kind of like my whole personality at this point. Hey, yeah. Oh, Louie is sad. No attention left for Louie. It's okay, sweet, sweet thing. Oh, you just need potty. You have level threes on two things. You just need a potty skill. Rebecca! Rebecca! Why don't you potty train Lou? And Huey, you also probably need potty as well. So we'll kind of have Rebecca help Chelsea's asleep. Okay, I woke up Luna for no reason, Chelsea. Go do tummy time, please. Jeez. Uh, okay, we got all the younger kids kind of doing stuff. Zane's hungry. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Can you quickly feed Zane for me? And then you can potty train my other children. Thank you, Rebecca. Yes, Zane was going to be taken away. I figured that out. Why did you put one baby on top of the other? One baby is lying on top of the other baby. That would be kind of cute. It would be like they're crawling all over each other, except for they are combined. Yes, Luna. Good job rolling over. Four for you, Luna. Mom is super stoked for you. Let's help Luna blow out those candles. Chelsea, you can go to bed after this. We'll have four Todds, so we might need to get an extra Todd bed. Hopefully, we'll be aging up these two Todds in no time, so it won't really need, we won't really need to worry about that, you know? That's the goal, at least. Luna aged up, and she's also fussy. Come on, give me a break. Oh my gosh, she's got a little streak of green hair and she's got glasses. How cute are you, Luna? You're hungry. Luna, come grab some food, okay? No worries. There's plenty of food over here. Chelsea, why don't you go to bed? Oh, no, she was gonna see what's happening. Oh, because Luna acquired the movement skill and mom's very proud. That's very sweet. And look at these two. Did you reach level two of potty, my darling? You 
did. Okay, great. So you can go potty again. Perfect. So we're just chilling. Brody's here. I mean, we could try to potty train Brody too. Roy is hungry. I like that you're doing your homework, so I'm not gonna be mad about that. Sasha, have you done your homework? Yes. But you need to get a skill up to level three. Oh no! What skills do you need? You have logic. You're so close. Okay, it's 5 a.m. Get up and play. Okay, you got this. Sienna is already done, so she's good. Rebecca, do you have all your stuff done? She does. All right, they're all good for school today. Oh, Brody likes to sing. He's like, I don't want to be an adventurer like my dad. I want to be a Broadway star. You know what? I wanted to be a Broadway star too when I was a little kid. So a little fun fact about me. Luna, why aren't you eating your food? Eat your dang food, Luna. Eat the food. Homework has been complete. Good job, Roy. Sasha, are you done yet? Yes. Sasha, go live your dreams. Take care of yourself before school. Rebecca is also taking care of her needs. These two are just pottying. It's a potty party. Only two of you are invited. Wait a second, it's Winterfest. Did I do this on purpose? I think I have it edited so that people have to go to school. Yeah, sorry kids. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Oh no, everyone's upset. Oh God, Jess and Zane both had blowouts at the same time, I believe. Chelsea's on the case. She's like, what's going on, Zane? Let's change Zane's diaper. There you go. Oh my God, I love the girls are just chitty chatting over there. All right, Zane is good to go now. Let's put Zane down here. Chelsea is not very good to go, but we will quickly change Jess's diaper. Jess needs food. Mother, please feed me. I would like sustenance. Yeah, she's gonna feed Jess really quick. And then she does need to feed herself. Oh my gosh, everyone's going to school in about an hour. Yay! Jess is fine now. She's just sad from crying and fussing. The dynamic duo of Huey and Louie are still pottying away. I feel so bad. They get up and then they sit back down. <laughs> then they get up and then they sit back down. We'll send all our kids to school. Goodbye, kids. Study hard. They're halfway through their potty marathon, so that's fun. Oh, Sienna's currently at school skipping. No, no, no. Don't skip school. What are you doing, Sienna? Leon Kennedy. <gasps> He has a crush on someone else. I just had your children. Why are you telling me this? You know what? Romance is in the air. Go have fun, Leon. All of you listen to your teacher, okay? Chelsea's eating her lovely food here. Hugh and Lou are still bopping Luna. I forgot about her existing, to be honest. I kind of feel guilty about that, but it is what it is. Take a speedy shower. Go take it. And then she can take a little nap. Oh, water shut off day is now in effect. Can she take the shower? Oh no. Chelsea, I think you might have to like take a nap, but then if it's dire, we might have to go over to someone else's house. Jess, we got a grab. Good job, Jess. Oh my goodness. You are that girl, Jess. She loves being held and she's a feeding tickler and she's a snuggly sleeper. She likes to sleep. She needs only one more fine motor skill before she's good to go. And then we just need to work on the gross motor skills as usual. How are these two sad beans doing? Oh, they both need fun, but otherwise they're fine. Listen, I don't have room for you two to keep being toddlers right now. Zane is going to bed. Zane also has two fine motor skills, the same ones as his sister. Oh, Lucas mastered the art of the paper airplane. Good job, Lucas. I don't know why I said it like that. Would he throw the plane or wait? I don't know if Lucas has shown me that much of his personality yet. Let's wait for recess. I'm very curious. Oh, Sienna gets pretty good grades and bullies have been picking on her lately. Confront them, Sienna. You got this. She unleashes a tired of poetic insults and put downs and they drop the imaginary mic. The bullies quickly lose interest in harassing someone who's willing to stand up for themselves. Nice. But Sasha's also had that. I think Sasha would ignore them. They're a little bit different that way. Eventually the bullies get bored and move on. Wow, the bullies really said like, oh, well one sister's gonna ignore me. I'm gonna bully the other sister. Oh my God, Alonzo's here, our mailman. Well, I guess go get the mail. She's so filthy, poor Chelsea. I need you to sleep though, darling, okay? So why don't you go get the mail and then go back to sleep? Ooh, we have run out of food. When you wake up, you gotta add some food, okay? These two are so close. Close. Come on, Huey. Come on, Louie. Let's go. They are very upset. I mean, they have spent hours on this potty alone. I don't really blame them for being sad. I would be sad too if I was stuck on a toilet all day. Been there and it is not something I would recommend. I feel like we've all been there. <laughs> Louie, you reached potty level three. Good job, Louie. 
go. Okay, Louis is ready for age up time. Louis, why don't you go to bed? Your brother will be on his way. Bo's calling to chat. Yeah, we can chat, Bo, anytime. Oh, look at little Luna watching. Very smart, Luna. Have you finished that skill? Are you potty training? Yes, you are. Luna's needs are pretty good. Do you want to work on what's good with thinking? Maybe like playing in the cabinets. Chelsea is almost all the way asleep. It's great that we have most of our kids asleep. Jess, are you still not asleep? Go to sleep, sweetie. I thought you were a snuggly sleeper. Poor Chelsea's just reeking in her own bed. I hate going to bed when you're stinky. Ugh. The sheets and everything. Ugh. Like, uh. Luna is also going to sleep in the tent. She's like, there's no extra bed, so I'm gonna nap in the tent. She's having a good sleep. I'm happy for her. She almost never gets to sleep this much. All right, we're up. We're Adam. We're ready to go. We're taking our call from Bo. We're probably complaining to Bo about how miserable we are. And we're like, Bo, they turned off my water. Oh, what's it now? Oh my gosh, are they all aged up? They all look pretty miserable, but let's see. Roy is aged up, Rebecca, Sienna, and Sasha. Lucas is a no. I don't think I paid attention, honestly, to Lucas's grades. Sorry, Lucas. He's really close though. All four of my kids can be adults, which means I can actually age Rebecca and Roy out of the house and just have two adults. And why don't you, sweet Lucas, take a little nap in mom's bed. Roy is celebrating his birthday. Happy birthday, Roy! He looks so upset. He is a recycled disciple. He is a creative art lover. And say it at number one through 15. 10. So that will be love. Get number one through two. Two. He wants to find his soulmate. Aw, and he graduated with honors. That's a good job. Let's just age up Rebecca. Look at Rebecca. Rebecca. She's lactose intolerant and vegetarian. Pick a number one through 15. Okay, six. She is a foodie. Pick a number one through two. A gloomy vegan who wants to be a chef. This sounds so cute. I love that for you, Rebecca. So nice to have you two. I'll miss you. But it's time to move Sim. Let's move in with Amelia. All right, and Roy, you too. All right, these two are officially out of the house. This is the least amount of kids I've had in a long time. Sienna's pretty good mood-wise, so I'm gonna age her up right now. Just so that she's not going to school tomorrow because I kind of want her to stay home and help with aging up the rest of the kids. It's a birthday for Sienna. Sienna aged up. She is neat, a geek, and she's a bit of a snob, which I love. Pick a number one through 15. Three. Oh, she's a creative. Pick a number one through six. Four. She wants to be an actress. Ooh, maybe she wants to be in like nerdy films, like superhero movies. I love that for you, Sienna. Okay, Sienna's now a young adult. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize Chelsea He's awake and chilling. Huey and Louie are ready to age up. So let's age those two up. No, you're not done with Potty. I thought you would, you, you're done, Huey. Is Louie done with Potty? Yes. Okay, Louie was done with Potty. All right, Chelsea, let's help blow out candles for Louie. Okay, now Huey is a level three Potty. Excellent. Go age up your toddler, please. And thank you. Oh, Louie has to wake up. I forgot. Lulu, wake up. Mom is here to age you up. But here we go. Oh my god, I accidentally fast forward through it. No, I wanted to see the cute little blowing out of the can. Oh, Zane put his toe in his mouth. Good job. Okay, Louie aged up. Louie is good. And pick a number one through five. Three. All our hard work in the last episode is paying off because we are aging up kids left and right and center. Louie, you look great, sweetie. Oh, shh. Look, it's so sad. Oh, it's Winterfest. Okay, I forgot it was Winterfest in my defense. So we are going to decorate really quick. Put up some decorations. There we go. Holiday tree. I'm going to put these in our inventory. Who needs a dining table when you have a Christmas tree? Okay, mom, you gotta age up Huey. And then it's time to place a presents under the tree. Look how cute Louie is. All right, Huey aged up. Huey is lazy. And pick a number one through five. Two, a whiz kid. A little smart, lazy pants. I love to see it. All right, why don't you decorate the tree with some of your other siblings? We'll wake them all up. See, we can celebrate. And Chelsea will take care of the kiddos. We're getting in the holiday spirit. Oh, Chelsea's hungry. Okay, Chelsea, why don't you grab a serving of food? All of you guys are lighting the tree together. Let's turn on some holiday music, okay? We can turn this around. Oh my gosh, Santa's here. And Santa Santa's adding some gifts under the tree. Everybody say hi to Santa. Chelsea's enjoying her 
time and then we can open presents together with all of the family. We're gonna get this done. It's only 8.30. Plenty of time to be enjoying gift giving and holidays. Look at this tree, okay? Maybe you could give Santa a gift. I bet Santa never gets a gift. That'd be very nice. Oh my gosh, look at these two giving hugs. No, you two need to come over here and talk with Santa. Okay, and let's open presents together, all of us. Everybody together, let's get it done. Let's open some prezzies. Oh my gosh, Chelsea, stop trying to flirt with Santa. Okay, Luna got a present, so that's good. So her Winterfest is good. I'm trying to get everybody's Winterfest to be like semi-decent. Chelsea's got a classic upright headstone. Who gave Chelsea a headstone? Are you flipping kidding me right now? Oh my God, they did. Chelsea's Winterfest was great. Sienna's looks pretty good. Sasha, why don't you open a present? Lucas opened a present and saying hi to Santa. Louie, say hi to Santa, okay? I'm just making sure all of my kids are getting presents and getting their time with Santa. Oh my God, is someone peeing themselves? Oh no, it's Lucas. Poor Lucas. It's okay, mom will take care of you. It's okay, Lucas. Huey's got a present from Santa. Santa. That's very nice. Why don't you go to bed in mom's room? Because you're kind of tired there, buddy. Louie is also pretty tired and also needs a bath. Lucas. Oh my goodness. My poor kids. Okay, I need to like get all these kids to sleep. We're being haunted by the ghost of our Christmas past. There he is. Johnny Zest. Chelsea, why don't you do a quick toddler care kind of thing? Clean up the little Todd. And then Brody, I think you can go to bed for now now. Actually, before Brody, you go to bed. I'm going to modify Brody and Kaz because I kind of want Brody to look a little bit more like Link from Legend of Zelda. Let's give Brody like a little Link Legend of Zelda look. This one's great. And we'll have a little hat on top. Look, we got the elf ears. Okay, that'll work. Oh, look at him. He normally has kind of like shorts. Yeah, like this. Okay, perfect. And then he'll have brown boots because he's Link. Yes. He is my link to the past. A past boyfriend. Eh. Actually, never a boyfriend, but he did ask me out. I rejected him. But anyway, all of you guys need to go to bed. Go to bed, kids. Let's get some super efficient care for Jess. And then we'll do maybe some tummy time. Jess is getting some quality mom time. Mom is taking Jess outside to do tummy time together. Literally hate when my sim does this. Wow, my ghost and Santa are talking in the bathroom. I mean, they're two of my exes as well, so that makes it doubly awkward, right? Ooh. Oh, Zane's up and a little hungry and also is stinky. Oh my goodness. Too many things to do. Winterfest is over and successful for almost everybody else. Yes! There was only one sim that just had an it's over, but it wasn't even a bad Winterfest, which is great. We love to hear that. Oh, and Jess learned to lift her head. Good job, Jess. Oh, why Johnny Zest tries to impress Chelsea by doing push-ups. I don't think it would be that hard to do push-ups. You're a ghost. How much weight do you even have? And he's like, wow, my abs are feeling so tight right now. We are taking care of Zane. We got everything under control here. How you doing, Sienna? Sienna is sitting down here now that there's nothing upstairs to sit at. This is thrilling. She's gonna go put it in the sink. That's nice. And we're back to another Sim having to take care of these needs. But did you finish your homework, Lucas? Yes, you did. All right. Why don't you just sleep in mom's bed, honestly? And I think we will delete this Christmas tree, at least put it in our inventory, because we need our cute little table with our yellow chairs. Oh, what are you doing, Zane? You're looking at your toy. It's very good. Having lots of fun. Sasha's getting some food. Louie is rough. Oh my gosh, these two are just talking everywhere. Are they best friends? Sasha's finally in a pretty good mood. Why don't you go take a shower? Fantastic. Everybody's crushing it. There's only two Sims awake right now, which is kind of nice. Oh, Louie, good job. Okay, now you need some fun. She's playing online video games with her father. It's kind of cute. Luna's up. Oh my gosh, Luna's rough. I feel so bad for Luna right now. Luna needs help. Oh, Zane, why are you awake and playing with toys? I thought I just put you to sleep. School starts an hour for all of my kids. Oh my gosh, speaking of which, Louie, you haven't done your homework yet. Do your homework, please. Okay, Luna needs a bath. Sasha, can you give Luna a bath, please? Thank you. I forget sometimes that I have kids. Poor Brody also has terrible needs. What happened? Wait, why is this thing send alone? We don't have any teenagers in the house. No, Sasha's still technically a teen. Sasha, you don't need to go to school. Yes, just skip school. Okay, you're fine. That is on me. You don't need to go to school. Just blow out your candles. You're good to go, okay? Sasha, age seven, she's unflirty. She's also a vegetarian and a geek. Pick a number one through 
15. Four. Okay. She is a deviance. Okay. Okay. Pick a number one through three. One. She is a villainous Valentine and she's unflirty. This makes a lot of sense. She saw her mom with all her shenanigans and really said, no, I don't want any of this. And Santa, I think you need to just go. Why are you still here? Leave. Now, please, we are going to give a bubble bath to Luna because she deserves it. And Sienna, can you actually clean up Brody in the sink? Because Brody needs a bit of a clean up here. There we go. Okay. These two kids are getting their needs met. Yeah. Now, Sienna, can you quickly potty train Brody because he needs to go? Oh my gosh. Luna hates being carried. Luna's like, I can do it on my own. She's so independent. And Brody's learning to potty and getting some nice attentions, which is very sweet. And Luna's needs are all perfect. Look at her go. Chelsea's also feeling good. How are you doing, Jess? She needs some hygiene and some food. Well, Chelsea is to the rescue. Okay, Jess, don't worry about it. We can superficially care for you. And then we can teach you more tummy time to age you up. Bada bing. Why don't you, Sasha, potty train Luna really quick? Sienna, why don't you stop and like go grab some food or something? And I'm gonna take down the decor because it's no longer Christmas outside. Brody is a little hungry. Brody, why don't you come eat some food? Also, I want to see Brody's everyday look. What the heck? I haven't seen him in his Zelda outfit once. There we go. <laughs> I love it. All right, why don't you go sleep in mom's bed since you're tired? We're taking turns here. And she's learning how to potty, so this is great. Her movement's pretty good. How are you doing, Brody? Brody's great. He's eating some food and enjoying chatting with Sienna. You can sing Sienna a little song since he's a little songbird. Luna's watching. How cute are you, Luna? Why don't you wander around, okay, Luna? Ooh, Jess is upset because she is put down and she doesn't like that. But we do need to do some tummy time together, so let's do it. Brody needs some fun. Brody, I have great news for you. Why don't you play with your sister Luna in there? Oh, Sienna, thanks for coming in here. I was just about to ask you to do tummy time with Zane. Man, I like the household right now. It's nice and chill. Leon is calling. Oh, his date went very well. Glad you followed up with me about it. That's great. Oh, and Luna and Brody just became good friends from playing together in their little tent. Look at that. Oh, they're so cute. Are you all listening to teacher? Oh my gosh, you are. And you are. Ah, Sasha's sleeping. Sienna's helping with baby. Jess is tired, so mom put her down. Wow, mom is responsible. What is happening here? Everybody's getting what they need. It's shocking. Also, when is Chelsea gonna have these babies? Oh, my daughter. Oh, my sweet angel. Thank you for visiting. They just got a sentiment. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you. I'm so glad that Cecilia likes to come home and chat with her mom. It's so sweet. And Sienna's reached parenting level one. Good job, Sienna. All right, let's put Zane down. We'll do some more tummy time with Zane. It's okay, Zane. I'm still hanging out with you. Where's Chelsea going right now? She's gonna go watch her son in the thing. Oh my gosh. Can we play with him? Play as the monster. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, the kids are too scared to play monster right now. Did you scare Brody? Oh, he got scared by the pretend monster. Oh, Brody's not quite as courageous as his dad is. Why don't you meet Cecilia, both of you, your big sister? Give him a little snuggle. Make sure our kids are okay. We have time to have these wonderful familial moments because I'm not stressing about babies. It's awesome. You know what? I'm glad I gave myself a bit of a baby break last episode. This is worth it. Huey is home from school. No need to make room. But Lucas's grades are up. Good job, Lucas. Oh my gosh. Lucas can be a teen now. Let's go, Lucas. Woohoo. Why don't you and you like Huey play in the treehouse a little bit? And then Lucas is going to go a job. So sweet. Go, Lucas. Go. Happy birthday, Lucas. I feel like Lucas aged up fast. Oh, Lucas is also lactose intolerant. Pick a number one through 15. 11. Pick a number one through eight. One. Ooh, jungle explorer. Okay, Lucas. You want to be a jungle explorer as a teen? I love it. Lucas is very much giving.
giving old man energy. <laughs> we gotta help you out, Lucas. Already Lucas is looking a little younger with the skin details. And then maybe we'll just do like this kind of vibe and maybe some tennis shoes. There you have it. A little bit more casual, not the formal shoes and the scarf. <laughs> Lucas popped out and was like, mom, what do you think of my outfit? And Chelsea was like, no. Oh, look at these two. They're playing pretend. Luna, oh, is going outside to get a little snooze in the tent. Oh, and Brody's getting a big old hug from mom. And Lucas is like, I need to pee. Okay, kids, now that you're having a little bit more fun, why don't we do our homework? Oh, you can do your homework up here? That is so cute. And someone's sleeping in here, but I don't know who it is. Oh, Cecilia's like, see you later. I gotta go. Let's help with some homework. And then I wanted to do that parenting thing of like praising compliment praise effort and motor growth that's really cute and lucas is oh getting into yoga okay look at the two beans they're like besties they go everywhere together these twins more than the other twins are like attached at the hip so cute all right you're all done there huey thank you for doing your homework and now you can go downstairs and go to bed louis is going to go play video games because louis likes video games luna why don't you go to sleep sweetheart oh my god chelsea's in labor we are will see very soon whether or not Chelsea has vampire babies. Let's go have babies at the hospital. Glad you are not invited. Okay, let's check in at the front desk. She's like, excuse me, sorry. I got here first. Also, I am in labor, so. She's off to her hospital bed, followed by our favorite doctor, our bestie. I just love that Chelsea becomes best friends with the doctors that deliver her babies because she just sees them so much. It's so cute. And oh, I love the choice of the pink. Very nice, Chelsea. Very nice. It's a boy. It is time now to look at your guys' baby name suggestions. Stephanie asked for me to name one of my kids after you or your brother, Aaron. And Aaron sounds great. So Aaron and Peachishme, welcome to the family. And it's a girl. Okay, we got Aaron. Let's see if there's another A name that one of you guys wants me to name. Uh, MK asked for Marie for a girl. They don't go together, but let's go with Marie. M-A-R-I-E. So Marie and Aaron. Ah, ah, one of them is definitely a vampire. Oh, they're both vampires. Yes, 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 yes. Pow, pow, pow. That adds four babies to the total. That would make the grand total 33 babies. Oh my gosh. So we are officially one third of the way through the challenge. Let's go. And Chelsea is not even halfway to being an adult, which makes me think I actually might accomplish my goal of having Chelsea finish this challenge with us, which is crazy because last time I think it took like three matriarchs. Okay, but we've got our two vampiric babalerinos. I'm so excited. I do really want these two though to like age up already. Chelsea, since your needs are pretty good, why don't we put Jess down in here and give her some stuff? Okay, it's a Thursday, so we all have school in the morning. So I'm glad that most of us have gotten all of our stuff done. But these two are having some good times getting their skills up. What the heck, Chelsea? That is so not what I asked you to do. Jess is just sitting in there. What are you doing, Jess? Is she trying to go to bed? No. Chelsea, get your butt back upstairs and help Jess achieve Todd. Hood. They just learned to roll over. He's lapping Jess. Do some tummy time. Oh my gosh, you broke my computer. Stop that. Simone's like, I'm bored. Well, Luna needs to be put to bed. So why don't you put Luna to bed? Brody is falling asleep in his tent. He just likes the outdoors and I don't blame him. That reminds me very much of his father. Huey is just chilling. Why are you scared? Oh, the scary moment. Huey, what are you watching? Oh my God, is that child being like exercised? What is happening? <gasps> it's a demon dog. But Chelsea has been called. She's been summoned by her vampiric Marie. Let's do some super efficient Marie care. And Lucas is eating some food. Delicious. Love that for you, Lucas. Sasha, looking great. Absolutely crushing. Let's put Jess to bed. And then you can go to bed too, Chelsea. It is like midnight, so. Oh, look who's in bed with me. It's Lucas. He's still kind of a mom's boy. He's like, I'm gonna sleep in bed with you, mom. You have the best bed. And all the kids inexplicably are asleep at the same time for two seconds before Chelsea is awoken by babies. All right, mom is back to sleep. Lucas is going to sleep. Everyone is asleep once again. 
magic. Well, if you're gonna watch TV, you might as well enjoy a nice ceviche while you do so. Very sad. What? Wait, wait, why, why, why? Oh my God, violating principles. I forgot that you don't eat fish. Okay, sorry. Just nap it off. I'm sorry. At least she's feeling energized now. So that's good. I'm a little suspicious. My Sims are all too happy. Everything's going too well. I don't trust it. Ah, the babies are up. But Chelsea's on top of it. It's a Friday. Lucas, are you ready for Friday? Gotta get down on Friday. Oh my gosh, Jess, why? All right, Jess needs some attention. So why don't we feed Jess, I guess. Zane, why are you sad? Oh, he's sad because his sister's crying and because he wants to be held. Oh no, we got a baby upset. Everybody go to school. Bye, kids. Love you all. Have fun at school. Listen to your teachers. Get your grades up. So Chelsea's on baby duty. And infant duty is for you too. Now she's just bored. You seem to be bored a lot. Is it because you're not a famous Miss Hollywood starlet, you're not acting. Why do you not have any new gross motor skills? We've been working on these gross motor skills nonstop. I do not understand what's in the way here. Oh, by the way, Luna's needs are so perfect. Luna, we need you to work on your imagination. Brody's up. Brody needs a bath. Oh, Louis got sick and threw up in the hallway. Oh no. They called Louis's older sister, which is very cute. And wait, oh my gosh, Zane got a milestone. Zane is now able to be aged up and Jess is so close. Good job, Zane. Sasha, can you age up Zane for me, please? We are on a roll today. Oh my gosh, and Jess just got leveled up as well. Good job, Jess. She's also learned to roll over all on her own. All right, it's time for the twins to become Todd's. Okay, here we go. Zane got aged up and is fussy. Not another fussy baby, no. Come on. That's just not fair. But Zane has great hair, so that makes sense. Okay, you're gonna age up Jess now. Come on, Jess. A cake full of spit. Love that for us. And Jess is also fussy. How did I get only fussy toddlers? <laughs> look at look at Luna trying to steal the spotlight. Like, I've been walking for a while. Catch up. <laughs> That was so cute. I think I might leave this one here. Next time we're gonna see our very first vampire infant. And until next time guys, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Make sure to keep leaving your baby names in the comments below and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.